Hey everybody, today we're testing out this new grow light by JCBRITW. And it's a 300 watt, comes in this box. It is marked grow light on the side, but they don't ship this box directly. It'll come inside a uh, Amazon box, so your nosy neighbors won't see uh, grow light on the side of the box. So I'll open it up really quick here. And here is the grow light itself. Has their logo on the front there. And comes with the hang hooks and the power cord. So I'll measure the power cord, give you the length on that, and um, we'll power this thing up after a closer look at the LEDs and the unit itself. Okay, right out of the box we have the power cord, and this is five feet long, I just measured it. And here's the unit itself. And it has a logo on the front. All aluminum casing, which makes it cool faster. And this is lightweight due to that fact, because uh, this is under five pounds. And on the back here, we have, let's zoom in here. We have the on and off, and then you can switch between veg and bloom with this switch here. And you could also daisy chain this to other grow lights. You can have a, a series of these in a row. And this is where the power cord plugs in. And this is the fan where it pulls in cool air and it blows the air out the sides with these vents. And uh, on the front here, this is plastic, it's not glass. And we have 112 LED in there, and that is at a 60 degree angle. So I'm going to test out the wattage right now. Okay, now we're going to test out the wattage. This is the main power switch. And this is a kilowatt. And we're going to zoom in here and see what that comes out to be. Looks about 1.8 watts just for the fan alone. I'll zoom back out. And we'll put it on bloom. that bright red light. Zoom in. And that looks about oh, 82 watts or so. And I'll zoom back out. And we'll put it on veg. Zoom back in. And that is 92 watts around that area. So uh, it doesn't use much electricity, but uh, it, there's 300 watts worth of LEDs in there. They just uh, turn it down to make them last longer. For hanging this, this is very simple. On each corner, they have this hinge triangle. You can see that there in the camera. And you just take the clip Just like that on all four corners and you're all set. So I'm going to go hang this right now and give this a week test. Alright, I've been testing this for about a week now and on the top it is pulling in cool air and the warm air is coming out the sides to cool off the uh, LEDs. And also underneath here I feel warmth right about here which is about four or five inches down from the light. And I've been growing green beans under here and peppers in the back. I'll show you that in a minute. But the green beans, I started, and when I put them under here, they didn't have any green beans, but they had flowers. And I'll give you a close look at this. Already getting beans, and there's more to come. But I wish I had uh, used a better potting soil, the one I chose. These beans didn't agree with it, but they're producing. But I'll give you a quick look at the peppers that I have. These are my bell peppers that I had growing in back of my beans here. And these are doing pretty good. I'm, and today I'm going to put them into uh, grow bags with um, some uh, Fox Farm potting mix to make them really take off. I'll keep them under this light and see how they do. 
But uh, so far, so good with this light. Very happy. And uh, I guess that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, take care, everybody.